So I would like to begin our class. So last time we learned about the conversion, isn't it? We learned about the uh, mass conversion. We learned how to convert. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Last time we learned how to convert kilogram into gram and even gram into milligram. Conversion of distance. We learned uh, how to convert kilometer into meter, meter into centimeter, centimeter into millimeter, and vice versa. Okay. So mm -hmm. that was the conversion related to mass and the conversion related to length. Now today we are going to learn about the conversion related to time, all right? Are you clear? So today we are going to learn about the conversion that is related to time. Clear? So today we are going to study about the time conversion. Okay, now let me see your screen so you all will look on the screen properly, all right? Are you clear? You listen to me? You will look on the screen and try to learn something from the screen. Okay, now let me share the screen. So we are going to learn about time. What is time? The question is there. Uh, what is time? Let me give you one example. Okay. Yes. Sorry, you cannot see. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the screen or not? Yes. Can I see? I am seeing. Uh, may I see? Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now just listen to me. Okay. Do not speak at the middle. Right. Did you hear me or not? See on the screen, do not talk in the middle, right? I'll give chance to talk, okay? Anyway, now we are going to learn what is time. Let me give you one example. So let's say uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning. This is one interval and again there is 8 a.m. in the morning. You can see the interval there. What is the interval between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m.? Say 7 a.m. in the morning and 8 a.m. in the morning. What is the interval? What is the gap between these two times? So the interval is the interval is one hour, isn't it? So this one hour, the interval between 7 a.m. in the morning and again 7 a.m. in the morning, that is the interval is one hour. Okay, let me keep proper color there so that you could understand clearly. So it is one hour. This one hour, this interval is called is called time. So you can see there the interval, the interval or duration between between any two events is called time. So you can see there the interval or the gap between the interval or the duration between any two events is called time. For example, 2019, let's say 2019 is one interval, 2019 AD and we have 2020 AD. So you can see two gaps here. One is 2019 AD and the other one is 2020 AD. The interval is what? What is the interval? One year. Okay, this one year is called time. So you can see there. Okay, you can see there the interval between any two events. You can see on the color one, you can see there the interval between any events. Let me underline it you can see there the interval between any the interval or the duration between any two events is called time okay so what is the unit of time the yes i yes i mean system international that is system international the system the si unit si stands for system international the si unit of time is second that is noted by small letter yes so this is called time the duration between any the duration or the interval between any two events that is called time okay the duration or the interval between any two events is called time let me give you one example sunday let's take an example sunday is one event okay sunday and then the other day is monday what is the gap between Sunday and Monday? It is one day. That one day is called time. Okay. So understand that the interval between or the gap between any two event, any two events, or the duration between any two events is commonly known as time. All right. So I, I hope you people are clear. The duration between any two events. All right. So the duration between any two events that is called time. I give you an example. Let's say today is today is Sunday and yesterday was Saturday, isn't it? 
actually was Saturday and today is Sunday. What is the interval? What is the gap between yesterday and today? One day, right? And this one day is called time. Okay. So this interval is called time. So basically time is measured uh, by the device called watch or clock. What device we use? What device we use to measure time? Either watch, stopwatch, that could be stopwatch, that could be wall clock, isn't it? That could be even uh, you can say your wrist hand, I mean say wrist watch, you put on your wrist, isn't that is wrist watch? Okay, so let me give you an example. So if you can see here, this is watch, I mean say this is clock, right? So it measures the time, isn't it? So this device is used to measure time. Can you see it clearly? What is the time there? It is 11, 11 what? It is, uh, sorry, 1021, you can see there. 1021 is the time given by this clock. So this is called, this is device, is device which is used for measuring time. All right, now, so now let me, so let us learn, let us go for the basic calculation on the time. Let me uh, share the screen once again. Okay, this is a uh, mass. Now let me go to the time. See, here is time. So as I told you example, so let's take an example. You woke up, say, you woke up at 7 a.m. in the morning and you started to study at 8 a.m. You woke up at 7 and you started to study at 8. So the, what is the gap? The gap between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Well, the gap is one hour. This interval is called time. Hence, the duration between two interval, the duration between to interval, sorry, the duration between two events, or the duration or the interval between two events is time. Time is measured by watts or clock, and the SI unit is second. Now you can see the timetable, okay? So you'll have to memorize this value, 60 minutes equals to one hour. So in one hour, there are altogether 60 minutes, and 24 hours equals to one day, okay? In one day, there are 24 hours. Seven days equals to one week. In one week, there are altogether seven days. 365 days equals to one year, 10 years equals to one decade, 100 years equals to one century. So these are the uh, values, numerical values. So these values are required while we convert time. So listen once again, 60 minutes equals to one hour, 24 hours equals to one day, seven days equals to one week, 365 days equals to one year, 10 years equals to one decade, 100 years equals to one century. Okay, so this is about time now let us convert okay now let us learn about the time conversion time conversion this one is very much important okay time conversion how do you convert okay hour into minute minute into second or days into hours time conversion, time conversion. see that clearly okay now you'll have to understand this first of all day you'll have to follow the sequence, so you'll have to follow the pattern. Day should be converted, first of all, day should be converted into, day should be converted into hour. And again, hour should be converted into minute. Minute should be converted into second. So this is how we do it. So first of all, days, you'll have to follow the pattern, okay? Day should be converted into hour. How do you do it? Day. While converting days into hour, what do we have to do? While converting days into hour, while converting days into hour, we'll have to multiply by 24. See that? Days, while you convert days into hour, you'll have to multiply by 24, okay? Now again, hour, while you are converting hour into minute, while you are converting hour into minute, what do you have to do? Minutes, you'll have to multiply by 60. All right. And again, minute. Now, what do you have to do? You have to convert minute. You'll have to again multiply by 60. All right. And reverse. Reverse. Days into hour multiply by 24. And reverse. Reverse means what? Reverse means hour into day. So that is reverse. So in that case, what do you have to do? You'll have to divide. Reverse means divide, okay? Reverse means divide. Divide by the same number. So in this case, reverse means same. Minute into hour. Reverse. Sir, but from which we have to divide? Wait for a while, okay? Don't go there. Just listen to me properly. So reverse, that means, see here, 
hour into minute. Excuse me, Sean. Five hour equals to six into sixty or five into sixty. Now that is five five into sixty. All right. I was just checking you by the way. Good. You are. I like your 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 total attentive. Great. Anyway, now five into sixty becomes five into sixty. That becomes what? Can you tell me? Can you tell me the value? Three hundred. Okay. So that is the final answer. So this is one example. Okay. Now let me go to the example number two. All right. Example number two. Okay. Again, the question might be asked in this way: Convert two hours into seconds. So this is another question. Can you see the question clearly? Okay, you can see that. I hope you people can see the question. Okay, clearly. So convert two hours into seconds. So how do you convert two hours into second? So as I told you earlier. So write your solution. So first of all, hour cannot be converted into second directly. Okay, you'll have to follow the pattern. So first of all, hour should be hour should be converted into hour should be converted into minute, and again minute should be converted into second. You'll have to follow this pattern. Okay, you'll have to follow the step. Do not do directly. Okay? You'll have to follow the step. All right, hour should be converted into minute, and again minute should be converted into second. So. What is question says convert two hours into seconds. So you can write that two hours. So first of all, see here two hours. Uh, two, sorry, two hours. Two hours equals to first of all convert hour into say, uh, minute. What do we have to do? Two into sixty. That becomes minute, isn't it? Now, now two into sixty. What is the answer? Two into sixty becomes hundred twenty minute. Okay, what the question says convert into second. You can see there. Okay, again you will have to go one step more. Okay, now again. Now when you can see there, you can see here. How do you convert minute into second? Okay, students, are you clear about that one? Did you know how to convert how to convert minute into sec uh, hour into minute and minute into second? Did you get the point? I'm so sorry because my internet is very slow today. I don't know why because because of that it is being disconnected at okay at the regular interval of time. So I'm so sorry for that one again. So let me give you one more example. Okay. So how I guess we have some some more minutes and uh, listen. I shall post one video on that uh, Google Classroom. You just go through that video. Okay. You'll have more idea about, from that video too. Now let me share the screen once again. All right. So you can see there. See there, okay. See the example once again. Okay, all right. Now, see there. First of all, while you convert from hour into second, see there, okay. Hour should be converted into minute. So multiply by sixty. This is the case. That becomes hundred twenty minute. And again, this minute again has to be converted into second, isn't it? You can see there again hundred twenty is multiplied by sixty. That becomes seven to double zero. So two hours equals to. 70 to 100 seconds. So this is one example. Now let me give you third example. Okay, example number three: convert one day into seconds. This one is quite important. Okay, this one is important. So how do you convert one day into seconds? You'll have to convert one day into second. Okay. Now see that clear. Into hour, hour into yes, yes, year. yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now listen to me first. Okay. As I told you earlier, day cannot be converted into second directly. You have to follow this step. All right. Now, day that goes into hour. Day should be converted into hour. Again, hour should be converted into minute. And again, minute should be converted into second. All right. So these are the steps pattern. You have to follow this pattern. Day and then hour and then minute and then second. All right. Now, see the solution. One day. So one day equals to one day equals to what? One day equals twenty-four hours. So one should be multiplied by twenty-four. Now that becomes hours. When day is multiplied by twenty-four, that becomes hour. So you can write there equals to twenty-four hours. Now, again, go to next step. Hours should be converted into minute. Twenty-four into sixty. All right, that becomes minute. All right. Now multiply twenty-four into sixty. What is the value? Twenty-four into sixty. It is one four four zero. Fourteen forty minutes, isn't it? 
again now let's uh, now again 14 14 minute that should be converted into second that is 1 4 14 1 4 4 0 into when multiply by 60 that becomes second <coughs> so it goes to what when you do this then it becomes 86,400 86,400 so finally therefore one day therefore one day equals to 86,400 86,400 second so that is the final answer all right so this is how we convert day into seconds all right now now let's learn about now reverse case reverse case okay reverse means opposite what uh, what we learned earlier so opposite of that we're going to learn reverse case okay so example might be this one example number three or four example number four okay convert uh, let's say uh, 7200 to 7200 seconds to hour uh, you can let's say minute minutes so this is the question how do you convert 7200 uh, excuse me sir we have less than two minutes left uh, okay all right so okay all right now students so let's let's be quick okay so how, so how do you convert 7200 seconds into minute now see that so as i told you earlier while you convert minute into second you'll have to divide by 60 all right so right there 7200 also 7200 divided by mm, divided by divided by what 7200 divided by 60 now that becomes minutes so when you do this then you will get the answer okay so when you divide when you cancel this you'll have the answer so this is how we, we do okay now try again i shall post you one video on the google classroom you can see from the video too